Bizarre turn of events at a Walmart in Elkton. Police say what started as a shoplifting spree ended with one person dead. WJZ's Rick Ritter has more on the trio of women at the center of it all. Police say it all started when three women entered this Walmart in Elkton, trying to steal hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise. But before they could even leave the parking lot, things took a deadly turn. Take a good look at 38 year old Shermaine Mayo. The woman authorities say ran over and killed her own friend trying to flee from a shoplifting spree. For me, it's really sad to see that someone just could dehumanize someone like that and leave the scene. It happened around 1 o'clock in the morning last Saturday. Police say Mayo and her two accomplices, Denisha Harris and Kenesha Cunningham, tried leaving this Walmart off Pulaski Highway without paying for over $1,000 worth of merchandise. A security officer followed the trio out and tried snapping photos of their car. That's when the incident takes a wild turn. In an attempt to conceal the tag, the victim, Kenesha Cunningham, jumped on the trunk of the vehicle. Police say Mayo was behind the wheel and reversed, hitting a curb, leaving Cunningham trapped under the car before reversing and hitting another curb. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, total disregard for life, in my opinion. Uh, they didn't even attempt to render aid. Cunningham was pronounced dead on the scene, while the other two suspects fled on foot and were quickly apprehended. Shoppers are now trying to fathom the crazy like, story. I can't believe they even like that even happened. Not even like try to help them. They just ran. That blows my mind. Left outraged over how a shoplifting incident could escalate to this. No need for it to rise to that level of violence where someone loses their life. Totally outrageous. Police say Harris was charged and then released on her own recognizance. The 38 year old Mayo is now facing charges of negligent manslaughter and negligent auto homicide. Police say she was put behind bars, but then bonded out. In Elkton tonight, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ.